been getting some emails you guys want survival videos right number one i'm going to start with the upper right hand corner of your screen right there how to build a survival kit okay now i want to show you guys something that i got while i was over the road it's a cpo tactical backpack it says tactical but it's not like you can see that it says tactical so easily you know but this backpack is great for little short little day excursions but what i have in here i could end up probably being good for about a week you know i've got a little fishing kit in here i have a means to make a shelter i can fabricate fire all that good stuff the only thing that i add to the strap this is the benchmade adamas really awesome knife dude i've had this knife for a little well over five years now and this thing's great and because of those these little divots in here these holes right i can fabricate a bow drill friction fire with this thing but right here on the side right right here on the side is where i carry my rapid ridge line for my survival shelter so i use a poncho for a survival shelter i'm in california doesn't ever really get too bad too too bad out there it does get real cold but you know, I make sure that I'm dressed for the occasion. Obviously I'm always looking up the weather and all that good stuff. So when you break it open, you go into it, you know, especially for those of you truck drivers, you definitely want to get yourself a medical kit. This is a gunshot trauma kit, okay? It's got everything you need in here. The tourniquet, the, uh, the quick clot stuff, you know, gauzes, more wound packing material, Israeli bandage, all that in here, man customized it a little bit myself as well and here's also my fire kit right i've always got my duct tape wrapped around this comes in handy as a truck driver as well fits right into the little pocket of these pants right here you know fit that in there every day boom this thing comes in real handy and everything that i'm showing you guys you can find in the description box below to be able to buy these things okay i'll be on amazon so really handy stuff i use i use this every day you know i got a review i did here for the leatherman signal every outdoorsman you know needs a multi-tool so all the functionality in that you can check that video out but yes my fire kit what does that look like i use this little maxpedition case this gauze here you know i simply can strike and fabricate a friction fire this right here this is a ferrocerium rod striker all right so how this works when i open this up it exposes the ferrocerium rod how do i strike it with the striker up here it gets going quick this and this is all i need for a fire i mean there's some pitch nearby right weatherproof matches right so i've got more than one way of fabricating a fire in here two more lighters in there three more lighters in there of course i have a um you know a little fire blanket right a little emergency blanket along with a magnifying lens and then i have a little bit of medication in here because you know gotta have that stuff painkillers and whatnot so you know look at all that space in there what's this syringe you see here it is for, right? It's for purifying water. The Sawyer Mini, right? The Sawyer Mini. Use this thing a few times in the rivers out there, the local mountains where I go, right? This, so you can take water with you on the go. This here, little fishing kit, right? It's my little fishing kit there. I got a couple of these, um, chem chem light sticks and i'm not so sure about how i'm gonna get back right i'll stick these on the trees along the way right find my way back with my headlamp so little survival kit there the poncho shelter fits right in there so i, I got medical covered i got shelter covered i've got fire covered um fishing you know i've got that covered and of course i'll pack you know some a little bit of food in there but you know, this is 
basically for if I'm not going too far it's just an ex a little excursion you know just for a little fun and um, I'm not gonna be gone for long not more than a day and that's what I use right there you know which made Adamus this thing's fantastic you guys I this spine I'll vouch for it this spine cut some thick ass rope dudes this thing is sharp I really I really really like this knife it's it's an awesome knife and uh I'll show you my hunting axe um, for skinning, but it's made by Grants Force Brook, and it is a beautiful hatchet. So, but it's made just for skinning, so I haven't used it for anything else other than that. So, I'm, I need to get a leg holster for it, and I'll take that out with me as well. You know, for little day day excursions. You know, it's good to have. You know, for protection and for uh, you know, cleaving some meat. So. Mr. By the Mile, you're home for discussions based on my knowledge and experience in trucking the red pill and survival. A little survival there for you guys. Take care, stay safe. All you truck drivers out there, new and veterans, all you teamsters, I'll see you on the road.